with ATO Dance Source, and I'm here with the talented dancer, choreographer, songwriter, musician, actor, Chris Judd. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely, my pleasure. Okay, so welcome to Atlanta. I know. We just uh, got here and just got off the plane and just mm -hmm. came straight to, the, straight to the convention center to meet with you. Or like we, we would like to say, Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, yeah. It's absolutely. not that hot today. <laughs> I know, it's like kind of a little humid and rainy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Other than that, it's great. Yeah. yeah. So let's start from the beginning. Okay. Um, when did you discover your passion for dance? Uh, I actually, I actually s discovered my passion for dance pretty mm -hmm. late in life. I, uh, I didn't start dancing until I was 21 years old. Oh wow! And I was working at Disney World in Orlando, mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't until after I took my very first dance class. It was a, like a beginning jazz class, mm -hmm. and um, uh, you know, walked in, struggled through the warm up, and struggled through the you know the technical aspect of going across the floor. Yeah. Um, but then really fall in love with it until the combination mm -hmm. and when, once I learned the combination uh, I kind of picked it up really easily and uh, I, I picked it up a lot easier than I thought I yeah, would because yeah. uh, I grew up as an athlete and grew up you know practicing oh. and stuff so when we got to the actual combination of the class is when I really fell in love with it and uh, knew that this is what I wanted to do great great or pursue it yeah yeah, yeah. so thinking back way long ago, what was your first big gig as a dancer? Uh, my first big gig or yeah. my first, well I would have to say that my first big gig was mm -hmm. when I was, I was actually trying to become a professional dancer within one year. Oh wow. And I was, uh, so I did everything I possibly could within that year mm -hmm. to, to do whatever it is I could possibly do. And so I was working towards being a dancer at yeah. Disney and uh, at, at, a, at, at Pleasure Island at mm -hmm. Disney World in Orlando. Mm -hmm. And so once I took that first dance class, it was my, it was my New Year's resolution to take class. Yeah. And then I was going to take class as much as I possibly could until and, and audition for everything mm -hmm. in that year. And uh, I actually got my, I actually got my contract at Disney in eight months. Oh wow! Um, so that would probably have to be my fir <laughs> my first big, big job. Yeah. yeah. Now, throughout your career, you've worked with some amazing artists, from Cher to Celine Dion to NSYNC, <laughs> who I love. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Um, Jordan Knight, yeah. the legendary Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. So, out of all those things you've done in your career, what was the highlight? Like, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I when I first started dancing and uh, got my job at Disney, mm -hmm. I was 21. By the time I worked with Michael, I was 25. Wow. So I'd only been dancing four years when I was noticed by Michael's choreographer and offered the job to yeah. dance with him. And then once again, yeah, it was a two-week. Uh, my, I never auditioned for Michael, mm -hmm. so it was. I was offered the job, and my mm -hmm. my audition was the rehearsal process. So it was like I. Ne I was the first time I was working with like LA based choreo LA based choreographers mm -hmm. and dancers, because I was living in Orlando, and you know you walk in and Michael Jackson was the very first artist I ever danced for, you know. So I started already at the top with the best. Of the best. Guy dancer, yeah. you know? But uh, Michael Jackson definite, definitely is the highlight of my career. For That's sure. crazy. Yeah. So now, since you did work with Michael Jackson, what's one thing you learned from him, you know, when, when you did work with him on that, on that time? Uh, that the, time? the one thing that I really learned from Michael Jackson is to be, per, is to, he was a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So, and he was, um, you know, he would always say that this is why we rehearse, is to be perfect on stage. And so we rehearsed a lot. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, when we would rehearse for the tour, we would rehearse for three months. And just eight hours a day, every day, for, you know, uh, preparing for his yeah. tour because there was so much involved and you had to pay attention to everything that was happening. And so, um, 
and he was just very particular to detail, you know? Yeah. He used to make us, we used to have like, there's four dance, four guy dancers. Mm -hmm. He used to make us at a two and a half hour, sh like a two and a half hour show, we're probably in 17 or 18 numbers or something like that. And um, in rehearsal, mm -hmm. he used to make us all dance the entire show one at a time. So he would sit just like this, against the mirror. The other guys are on the floor, sitting there. And he would make you, or me, he would make me, do the show <laughs> from the top of the show to the end of the show One by myself. One person at a time. By myself. Oh my gosh. OK, now speaking of accomplishments, another big accomplishment while we're here today is the Pulse On Tour. Yeah. 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 So, out of all the dance conventions there are, why do people, why are so many people drawn to the Pulse on Tour? Like, what makes it stand out? Well, you know, I think what makes it stand out is that we have created this environment. I've, I've been started with the Pulse probably mm -hmm. about seven or eight years ago. Um, and we created this environment that it's not a competition-based uh, convention. Mm -hmm. We want you to put yourself In it, into yeah. the piece, and we want to see your soul, so to speak, speak to us. So becoming more narrative and storytelling and um, a, lot of, a lot of vignettes and pictures, mm -hmm. and just you can relate to the song, you can relate to what's happening on stage, and, and, and I think it's kind of brought this whole different, this whole different realm of yeah. creating um, to the forefront, and it's you know, and it's really a great thing to see um, when when uh, when you do see that special piece mm -hmm. that comes out. You're like, wow, that was really mm -hmm. cool, or it made you cry, or yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now, since you've been to Atlanta a few, you know, you've been here quite a few times <laughs> yeah. here. What what would you say? Um, how does Atlanta stand out as far as dancing compared to the other well, cities? You know. Um, Atlanta, Atlanta pretty much stands out. I'm, I'm, I grew up not too far away from here. Mm -hmm. I grew up in, in Fort Walton Beach, okay. Florida, yeah. like Destin area. Yeah. And, uh, and back in the day, I had a girlfriend that was from Atlanta, mm -hmm. so we were here a lot. Yeah. And so um, I have great friends that are just amazing choreographers and dancers that are from Atlanta, mm -hmm. like Travis Payne is from Atlanta. Um, there's great talent here yeah. I mean it's just a, there's a great soul here you know and uh, and just and a, and a vibe mm -hmm. you know they invent dances here you yeah. know what I mean like the, <laughs> all the social dances are yeah. pretty much invented here yeah, you know what they I mean are. Yeah. <laughs> the true. Gym south and all that yeah. so it's it's like it, it's a it's a lifestyle um, that that was reminiscent back in the 80s when when I was mm -hmm. growing up and being a dancer and doing all the social dancing mm -hmm. when when the troupe was a dance yeah. and the cabbage patch yeah. and the robocop you know like you know the, the prep and yeah. you know so now you have all of these dances so it's kind of just come full circle mm -hmm. in the generation mm -hmm. and you know and it's just a lifestyle that you can't live without for sure oh yeah all right so we went from the beginning now, I want to know about Chris Judd a little more. Some okay. things that some people might not know about you. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. So, um, Ask away. Okay. So, um, what? Blue. Be, no. <laughs> not blue. None of that. None of that. Now, be, no, besides dancing, what do you love to do besides dancing? Uh, well, I, I grew up in the Philippines and Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I was raised, my father is in the, was in the military, mm -hmm. and my mom is from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So, I was raised in the Philippines, Hawaii, and Florida. Mm -hmm. So, I'm an island kid through yeah. and through. So, the snow, I'm not, you know. <laughs> not having <laughs> I it. Need, I need the ocean. Yeah. So, yeah. I love to surf. I grew up surfing. Mm -hmm. Um, I play golf and I ride motocross. Oh wow! So I'm, I I like to be active with a bunch of sports. I actually pursued golf mm -hmm. at one point in my life to become a professional. Oh wow! So I was juggling the whole dancing golf thing. Mm -hmm. So I was actually a dancer 
supplementing a golf career at the time. Oh, so yeah. I was working to be a professional golfer. Like I was trying to qualify for the US mm -hmm. Open. I was playing the mini tours. So I was dancing at night, playing golf in the rain of the day. And I was about to turn pro when I was offered Michael Jackson's tour. Oh, wow. So then I was like, should I? Michael, yeah. You know, I was like, turn pro and struggle. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or go on tour with Michael Jackson and take my clubs with me on tour yeah. and play around. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. That's a I no-brainer, think. right? Yeah. And chance of a lifetime. You yeah. can't pass that up. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know if you, I mean? And if you, I'm sure if you wouldn't have, I would have ne never met you if you chosen. You would have never met See? me if I chose golf. See? For sure. All right, now tell me something that we would never know about you. Um, well, I was born clubfoot. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was born um, with my right foot completely hooked around to the, to the left. And uh, my baby pictures, all the way up until I was a year and a half old, mm -hmm. um, I had a cast on my right foot. Oh, wow. And so all of my baby pictures, I literally have two left shoes on to mold my feet, mold my foot back together. I literally had two left feet. So it was destined, yeah. <laughs> you know? So it was destined for you. So that, that whole you. dance yeah. expression, I got two left feet, yeah. does not, does not, you know? I had yeah. two left feet, and now look where I'm at. Wow. So, what's next for Chris Judd? What's next? Um, gosh, you know, it's open. Mm -hmm. You never know. Um, I guess what's, 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 uh, what's very, What's amazing about this business and what's very difficult about yeah. this business is that you don't, don't know what's know. next. Yeah. So you have to kind of just make the opportunity happen for mm -hmm. you, you know? So yeah. uh, getting into more directing. Mm -hmm. um, I've directed music videos. I've directed, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm getting into that aspect. The, the whole digital realm mm -hmm. is, is amazing. Um, still writing music. Um, and, uh, and just, and being married, being a husband, yeah, uh, and trying to make a family of my own, you know. Yeah. So uh, the future's bright, and, uh, and I still feel young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me ask this: Where do you see yourself in ten years? If where do I see myself in ten years? <sighs> being a dad, mm -hmm. um, and directing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be a director. I'd like to transition to be a director. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Still in this business. I mean, ultimately, you know, mm -hmm. but I won't give up the acting, won't give up the hosting, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I love to produce, you know. I love, you know, let's mm -hmm. work on something. Yeah. You know, so, and I, I think still, I'll be still be dancing when I'm <laughs> 10. So 10 years from now, yeah. I'll still be dancing. Yeah. And teaching my kid how to dance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. That's I'm excited great. for the next 10 years. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a good 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, the next 10 years sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now, I can't let you leave without hearing that ATL accent. All I want you to say is ATL, shouty. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it at least one time. Say, say it again. Say ATL, shouty. ATL shoddy. <laughs> <laughs> and and we can't leave without a Yule. Yule. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. That's good. I think um I think the city will be proud. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. good. That was good. Very cool. Now I wanna to I wanna say thank you for sitting down with us. Of course. And I wish you the best in the future. You too. You know, with your family and all your career. Just wish you the best and God bless. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, this is Britt with ATL Dance Source, and um, we're closing out with Chris Judd. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you.